All right, this video is going to show how to find the surface area when given a prism and also a cylinder. Uh, so a lot of these examples talk about making a aluminum mailbox, and so we need to find the surface area of one and then multiply it by however many mailboxes they're making. Uh, to do so, uh, let's first start off by finding um, the surface area of our uh, cylinder that's up on top. So I mean, just envision that we've got a whole cylinder right up here, and what we're going to do is we're going to find it as if we were doing the entire thing, and then we'll just divide it by two. Um, I'm doing this by hand instead of on the computer uh, because there's a lot of you know detail within the decimals uh, to make sure that uh, it's you know nice and neat. Uh, so let's first off find the surface area of our cylinder. Um, looking at that. We have our base, uh, our width back here, um, of 0.24, and so that is also our diameter that would be up top. So if we took that 0.24 and divided it by 2, we get a radius of 0.12. Looking at that, now we can find the area of our circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared and so I'm going to use 3.14 times 0.12 squared and when I do that I get 3.14 times uh, 0.12 squared I get 0 0.0144 and when I multiply that out I get my final area of one of the circle ends and that equals 0 0.045216. Now, that is the area of one circle. So that'd be the area of this whole circle piece right in here. Now, we have two. So we're going to multiply that whole thing by two. And I get 0 0.09043. So that is the area of both circles uh, together. Now I need to find the area of the rectangular part of our cylinder. Now if we took our cylinder and opened it up, we would end up with the top and the bottom, and then we'd have the part that wraps around. Now this piece that wraps around, if we go all the way around, our cylinder, it have to match up just like you know, layable on a can of soup. Uh, so, our length that is right here, or which is the base, uh, is also equal to the circumference of our circle. So let's first off and look at, well, circumference equals two pi r. So two times 3.14 times 0.12, our radius, and I'm going to multiply that, so I get 6.28 times 0.12. When I multiply that out, I'm going to get 0.7536. Now, I've already worked through all these numbers uh, before doing this video, so that's why um, all of, I mean, I'm getting the multi or the answers of these uh, a lot quicker than typing them in the calculator. So I've got that, which equals our circumference. But like we said before, our circumference that goes around is equal to the base that we're trying to find because area of a rectangle is base times height or length times width. So I'm going to take my circumference, which is also my base. So I'm going to take 7. Point, or I'm going to take 0 0.7536 and I'm going to multiply it by my height. And my height is the same as the base of the of the box. So I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.61. Multiplying those two together, my final area of that rectangle equals 0 
9696. It's important that we don't, you know, uh, round in the middle of any of these. So I, have, I was left with my area of my circle up top, and then I'm left with the area of my rectangle of our cylinder. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add these two together, and I get 0 0.5. Five zero one two eight. Now that is the area for a whole cylinder. All right. What we need to do now is divide by two because we only have half of a cylinder on our box. So once I divide, my final area is zero point two seven five. 064 meters squared. So that is the area for our cylinder. So I'm going to get rid of that rest or what we drew in. So that is the area of our cylinder that we need to keep. So don't forget to uh, write that down. Now we need to find the area of each of our sides of our box. Now in a box like a treasure chest or a mailbox there is not a top to that box so we will not multiply when we multiply our 0.24 and our 0.61 to find the area of our base that's down here we will not multiply that by two because we only have one so let's first off and do that so remember our area of a rectangle is base times height let's do that first one 0 0.24 times 0 0.61 I get 0 0.1464 that is our area of just the bottom and we will just use one of those so now I have 0 0.24 and I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.28 so in doing that I'm finding the sides of our box. When I multiply those together I get 0 0.0672 and since I have two sides I need to multiply that whole thing by 2 and I get 0 0.1344 and last I've got to do the back side of our box. So I've got 0 0.28 times 0 0.61, multiply that out, I get 0 0.1708. I've got two of those because I have the back and I have the front panel of our box. So multiply that by two and I get 0 0.3416. Now, what I have found is the area of each one of the sections that we need to do. So I will add each one of those together. Adding them together, I get a total surface area for one mailbox. I get 0 0.8974 meters squared since we're finding the area squared but I am making 1176 mailboxes so I'm going to take that surface area number that we have I'm going to multiply it by 1776 and in our and in the direction it says round our answer to the next square meter so I'm going to multiply I first get 1,593 and 0 0.896064 I need to round to the next uh, square meter so 1,594 meters squared would be our final answer for this problem I hope this helps if you have any other questions please ask me in, in class